Hi guys, it's me Zarna and today as we all know we'll do some scientific experiment together. So, are you ready for it? I am totally ready for it. But you need to wash our, your hands first. So, those who haven't washed their hands, go and wash your hands. I'll wait for you for 5 seconds and then we'll start. 5 4 3 2 and 1 let's start now so i'll tell you the materials needed for it and then we'll start but first of all let's know what we are making so we are making or we are doing a thirsty bottle experiment so are you ready for it i am and I, and i know that you are also ready so let's start so first of all you need an empty bottle like this it shouldn't have any cut or any hole in it it should have a cap so the first material you need is an empty bottle then you need a container or a tray or a plate you need some colored water and you need some warm water I hope you guys are ready with the materials. Let's start. So I'll put the plate over here. And I'll take this bottle, open the cap and I'll put some warm water inside it. So I have warm water over here. I'll put the cap and I'll shake it a little bit. It's too hot. Now I'll open the cap. And I'll empty the warm water. And suddenly you have to cap the bottle again. Now the next step is very simple. You have to put this colored water in the container or the plate you are using. Now quickly open the cap of the bottle and put the bottle inside the container. And you see... That slowly this colorful water will start coming inside this bottle. Let's wait and watch. Let's see how much time it takes. One. Oh, it's already going up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9 and 10. So in 10 seconds, the level of water increased to this. See, the level of water rises this much. That's very interesting, I guess. So this water is really, really thirsty. See how much water is it's drinking. Even if I am rotating the plate, the water isn't coming out. Now, I'll put it aside and I'll tell you the explanation behind it. So, it's very simple and it's a very good concept also. So, it, uh, what happened in this case was, when we put warm water inside the bottle and emptied it up, there was hot air inside the bottle. And as we all know, that hot air expands. It takes up or occupies more space than the normal air. So, when we put this bottle inside the colorful water, the water was cool. The colorful water was normal, cool water. But slowly, the hot air inside this bottle started cooling down due to the temperature and the cold water. So that's why it started compressing. And due to that, there was a vacuum created beneath it. So to occupy that vacuum, the colorful water or the water in the plate started coming up in the bottle. I hope you love this experiment. 